first talking about Seeds of Liberation um, is a group exhibition that has grown to 94 works of art and 44 local artists. So y'all give a hand for it. This uh, was curated by a group of panel of curators. Isadora it, it, it didn't want to be introduced, but here is yeah. the president of the board of the National Arts Alliance. And Isadora uh, had the idea of doing the show, and um, she felt like it was really important to do it the right way or to do it in a way that was that was honorable. And so she called us together um, as, a, as a committee to put together this show. She did a lot of work in the background. So one more time, y'all can get up. Isadora. Thank you. Um, as this is called The Seeds uh, of Liberation, it has the name um, because of, why? Why does it have the name Seeds of Liberation? <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. There you go. Nature needs soil, sunlight, oxygen, nurturing in order to sprout into the world. And so does liberation. It needs to be constantly nurtured in order to continue. If y'all didn't hear that over here, a seed uh, has to be nurtured. A seed needs water, sunlight, nutrients, soil, all these types of things. Um, and it needs, it needs some sort of contribution to continue. The same thing with liberation. Uh, liberation has to be cultivated, has to be poured into, has to be developed. And so, uh, as we said, talking about Juneteenth um, is a sign or symbol or type of liberation. In recognition uh, of Juneteenth, in recognition of our ancestors, um, we always attempt to start every event in July Bay. We recognize our power, we recognize by whatever name you call it, recognize our ancestors, recognize ourselves here now, and those who are from after us. And so, in recognition of the most high, we're gonna pour libation and then say, I shake. So, in recognition of higher power, we pour and everybody say, I shake. So this is a tradition that's practiced in, in many places throughout the continent of Africa, but just recognizing the life force, life source energy first, right? And so then we're gonna look at our ancestors. This whole Juneteenth that we're talking about, the story goes is that when the last group of uh, Africans, people of African descent that were enslaved in Texas found out that the Emancipation Proclamation had happened. Uh, the Emancipation Proclamation didn't happen in the vacuum. Uh, the Civil War didn't happen in the vacuum. And so for those ancestors, for our individual ancestors, we're gonna take a moment and identify, recognize, um, we stand in their honor, and we say, Ashe. And we wanna recognize uh, our individual ancestors. Just say names, say the names of those who come before you. So, uh, I'll say Grandma Irene. And so who you say who you joke? Everybody. 